I think I've proven throughout the years that I, I can compete for the medals and then uh, been a few world champs where I've been a big favorite and then not winning. So the first World Cup race was kind of a relief as well. You know, you've made it. You've had that one victory. I think I have a very good uh, perception of my skiing, the technique I use compared to the equipment I use. Uh, skiing wise, weakness is probably the power. I'm more of a guy who would kind of flow down a course instead of just, you know, going and attacking. Probably one of my biggest weaknesses is that I'm really impatient. I'm very patient with myself and everything that I feel that you need to be patient with. But I'm very impatient with all the other things that I kind of want to go fast. <laughs> learning to be patient is probably, I mean, it's 50% personality, but there's also 50% you have to learn. You always see that in younger athletes as well, who is very stressed and wants to get up there. What we had with Axel in the start was a, was a very important thing. We are two minds that think alike when it comes to how we analyze every situation, how we plan ahead and think about things we can change, things we can't change. Uh, and I think that teamwork has been important. We work hard, we, we, we bring it on training, we have a big capacity in the team for doing what it takes to, to become the best and, and we do a lot of work on skiing and all those things which there's a lot of other teams also that does. So I think uh, what at least what I learned in my time and what we're trying to kind of hammer into the young guys is the value each individual has when they're not on the hill. It's also why we spend six to eight weeks together in the summer every day. The most important thing you learn as an alpine skier is you have to carry your own weight. Get up in the morning, you carry a lot of equipment. You carry them a long way. You have to travel far to find the best training conditions. It takes time to transport yourself up and down the mountain. And then when you're done, you're down, you have to prepare your skis for the next day. You have to dry your shit when it's rainy. So it's a very time consuming day if you want to make it as an alpine skier. When you're done skiing, I think you have a lot of capacity for finding solutions to problems, to not be afraid of carrying that weight, to, to work hard. If I had the business, I would probably hire an ex-alpine skier. <laughs> That's true. I would 